This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at Box Park for the final press conference ahead of this Saturday night's show of Love and Sky Sports. I'm joined by Dan Aziz, who faces Jose Burton for the British title this weekend. How are you, mate? I'm good, man. Yourself? All good. Uh, very business-like up there from yourself, Dan? Yeah, it's straight business. Actually, it's not business, man. It's personal, man. Because... I've worked my socks off for this, like, and he's in my way, so it'll be stupid for me to say, yeah, it's just business, and no, man, it's personal for me because I feel like I've worked really, really hard to get to where I am, and, you know, unfortunately for him, he's the one that's in my way. Nonetheless, he's worked hard to get where he is, but, yeah, I'm taking this really serious, man. I felt like the verbals started to get going and then they didn't really get going, yeah, kind of. There was a little bit there, but there wasn't. But there's respect there between you, you two. You wanted to see that, innit? <laughs> I hear that. Yeah, we wanted to see tables flying and, you know, air punches going. No, I think me and um, Jose have a mutual respect for one another. Um, like, come on, he was ex-British champion before. Where he was, I'm trying to get to. So, yeah, there will be that, you know mutual respect for each other but come November 20th obviously that goes out the window you've had to bide your time to uh, be on a stage obviously like this and uh, obviously Sky Sports and the British title you've had to kind of just chip away behind the scenes do your thing but um, eventually cream rises exactly like you said the cream always rises to the top and I've been working away I've never had a stop start career whether I'm fighting or not I'm always in a gym I'm consistent and yeah I'm here now I mean, Jose made a, a point in there that, you know, you've not been in the ring with anyone um, as good as Burton. And I, I think that's fair comment, to be fair, isn't it? So what, you don't think Ricky Summers is on his level? You don't think Sterling's on his level? Like, I've been, it's, whether, regardless whether he's been, he's more experienced than me or he thinks I ain't been in there with anyone of his calibre, everybody I've fought, I've never been in there with them at that calibre, everyone's been more experienced than me. Even the last journeyman, I thought, last fucking month, he's had like 75 pro, I mean, pro kickboxing fights. Like, it doesn't matter. I always still got to go in there and do the job. So regardless whether he's more experienced than me or what, I'm still going to go in there and try and run through him like a train. Yeah, I mean, look, that isn't discrediting um, Sterling or uh, Summers or any of these guys, but I think on paper, Burton is... Yeah, no, the per best person that you would have fought in your record up until the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, definitely. But I'm just saying I, it, that's not going to be uh, a factor, I don't think, anyway. Um, he's a good fighter. And I'm happy, actually, that I'm fighting him for the British title because he's a credible opponent. Like, I believe he's just under fringe world level. He stepped up, tried to step up a bit and, you know, ain't quite made it. But, yeah, I think he's a good opponent for me to fight for the British title. Some people fight for the British title against, not to be disrespectful, but nobody's like, who, like, do you know what I mean? He's been a British title holder, and yeah, he's a good fighter, and I think our styles will make for a good fight. He's long and rangy and can crack, and I'm not scared to have a tear up, so, do you know what I mean? Let's have it. This is definitely the best fight on the card. It could have headlined somewhere um, in any other kind of... Uh, month or whatever yeah that's what everyone's saying to me behind behind closed doors like oh that's the best fight on the card like you know maybe there should have been a bit more promotion behind it and whatnot but yeah just tune in november 20th and you know you'll get your money's worth what does a win over jose burton the british start what does that do for your career uh it propels me to the next step and me and my coach since we've turned over it's always step by step you know um, Southern area, English title, and now the next step is the British title. So hopefully it propels me onto that European scene. But I ain't looking past that. I've got a big task ahead of me. You know, I'm not looking past Josea. Um, and then, yeah, let's get the win November 20th, this Saturday. And then, yeah, we can talk about what's next. OK, well, Dan, listen, appreciate your time. Um, got a few sponsors going on there, haven't you? Yeah, I'm trying to... Can I big them up, please? Yeah. Big up Romac Solutions. If it weren't for him, I won't be able to train full-time. Uh, big up my family, Connect Force. Big up Algebra as well. Another support of mine um, that's helped me be able to just put everything into boxing. Formula CBD helping me get rid of all the aches and pains that I always have to go through in the hard training. And, yeah, man, just... Big up to all the supporters, everyone that's been on this journey.
Big yourself, Le, man. Little MCK. Oh, there, shoot. Yeah, big up MCK Global. Obviously, been with them from the start. Do you know what I mean? And we're here now, so let's let's get it cracking. Actually, I'm Renovate. Yeah. Renovate cryotherapy. Yeah. I think Lee would have been here. Eaton would have been here, but he's too busy getting selfies That's in Mexico. Yeah, Lee's not rating me, man. But big up Lee as well, man. You know, he's been on this from the start, like, so he should be here tomorrow. If not, he'll be here Saturday, so yeah. He messaged me, said he was out with Roberto Duran last night. Yeah, so why, what, Roberto Duran, come and chill with Dan Aziz. Who's Dan Aziz, man? He might as well. <laughs> Gets where he comes from sometimes, doesn't he? Old exactly. League. So, yeah, no. Best of luck on, on Saturday, like I said. It's the, it's the best fight on the card. So, yeah, everyone, if you're not at the SSC Arena on Saturday, I'm sure you have a load of your fans there. But, yeah, tune in 100%. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Tune in. Top man.